I am Francesco Starace. I have uh, been the uh, CEO of NL for uh, some years in the past, about 10 years. Um, I am presently a partner in a private equity firm, EQT, on the infrastructure side. And I am also honored to be uh, chairing the board of trustees of SBTI and the board the, of uh, Sustainable Energy for All. Why am I passionate about sustainability? And it's basically, uh, it's about the fact that why are we doing things? You know, why is the reason for us to go to work every day, if not for something that helps others? And in general, for something that has a view of the future. And I think sustainability intrinsically gives our job a longer future. So I think that's my view, it's the time view. I really believe SBTI is important. I really believe it is fundamental to give companies, uh, private companies, public companies, I mean companies, some guidance in their complex journey to decarbonization. So I felt the importance of SBTI when we did that journey at NL. So I remembered what it took us to do that and what we learned about that and I valued it a lot. What is the role of SBTI in driving that transition is providing tools for people to understand where they're going. So it's it's like a compass. So without a compass, you cannot navigate in the decarbonized ocean. You need that compass and SBTI is giving that to people. What holds company back from decarbonization is, is different things because not all companies have an easy life decarbonizing themselves. And many companies need to rethink the way they work, the production methodologies, and they need to innovate and in a way change. So change is never really intrinsically easy. And I think that's one motivation, the resistance to change in general. And in some cases also the, the fact that there are industries that do not have today yet a fully 100% market driven or market possible decarbonization pathway. So companies need to be careful about that. So there are different reasons why companies, but uh, in general it's resistant to change or lack of solutions. I think the transformation of SBTI is the result of the success of SBTI. So it has established itself, it is widely uh, established and also lots of companies are now asking for the services of SBTI. So, the dimension of this success requires some uh, enlargement of the scope and also a more stable structure. Please, companies around the world, understand that the path to decarbonization is reducing the risk of the company, its exposure to an increasingly risky uh, world that is the one of carbon intensity. So it is. Uh, creating a more sustainable company going forward and also understand that this path needs to be measured. So you need to have a tool that establishes what progress are you making towards this goal. SBTI is giving you this methodology, this compass, and then the navigation is all yours. I hope that during the 2024 we see an increasing attention to a, a less polarized view of decarbonization and, and some more concrete action towards decarbonization. That I think is super important for 24. I really hope as far as companies are concerned that in 2024 companies understand the importance of doing a decarbonization in a methodologically sound way, not just trying hard, that doesn't help but try with some methodology that helps them. I think this is some discipline around it. It is important because it helps focus the effort one on one side and motivate everybody working in the company because it, it shows what progress is made. And with that, motivation is built up.